I took two hours or whatever to do this look. Maybe I'm just guessing myself up a little bit too much. But if you want no creases whatsoever, this contour is literally an art. How lifted my eyes your look. Your contour down the middle of your neck. Is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm lathering my brows in brow glue. Good morning. Time is currently 7.54 a.m. I forced myself to get out of bed because I need to go on a run. I keep telling myself I will and then I never do. I need to go on a run. Alright, this is the fit. It's from Set Active and it's like a collaboration with Way. But I did my skincare routine last night. And I showed you guys all the products in last night's video. But do you see my skin? That's crazy. Oh my god. It actually is working. I have not been working out like I probably should because with vlogmas I have to like wake up at like five or four and then I edit for like five hours right so then so by the time I'm done it's already like 10 or 11 and then I want to eat and then after I do everything that I want to do it's like 12 or something and then I feel like that's such an awkward time to go to the gym because I usually go at like 7 a.m. in the morning so I'm like, you know what a run is gonna take me literally 15 minutes max and then I can get started with editing and then go to the gym after if I feel like it but at least I went on a run this is just like the least amount that I've worked out since the beginning of this year so we gotta get back into it all right, let's go. Here I am just taking out the trash, but I just want to include this clip because if y'all see, I got hip dips. And I remember when I was younger, I would like look at fitness influencers and be like, damn, their booty's so fat. How it looked like that. But from the side, ooh, she looked nice. But from the back, I got hip dips. But I feel like not a lot of people show them or like we do poses to like try to cover them. But like, girl, I'm still built like that. POV, mom. I'm Joe from you. And I'm having my morning coffee at my window. And I see you run by like you always do at 8.37 a.m. All right, time is currently 3 o'clock. I'm going to head to the gym now. I really don't feel like it at all, but I have to. I haven't been to the gym in a minute, but I'm gonna switch my clothes though, just because, I don't know, am I feeling this? Do I go to the gym in this outfit or do I pick another one? Mm, I think this one's fine. Okay, let's put our hair up. Today, my goal at the gym is to like sweat. Like I actually wanna push myself to my limits. Cause I feel like it's really rare for me to go to the gym and actually be like, all right, I'm gonna get a good workout in. I kinda just like do my workouts without much thought, but like today I wanna make sure I'm like, really making myself work. You better work. Pre-workout. My face is so itchy. I think it's sterling. We have the Elani New Breezeberry pre-workout. Ugh, I also need to like go grocery shopping and get passport pictures done today. I'm not ready, but we gotta do it. If you are feeling unmotivated, like you don't wanna go to the gym, me to, but you know what? This is your sign to get up and go after this video, okay? You have to. You have to. You're gonna feel so much better after. All right, I'm gonna quickly, look, I'm gonna quickly walk you through my booty routine, I guess, because I used to have a flatty, 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 and now I kind of have a fatty, fatty, fatty. So if you want to know, um, I guess keep listening. But I'm starting off with some hip thrusts. I did like a lighter weight to warm up, and then I'm going in with my heavy weight. And girl, I was dying. Like this last set, I could barely get up but I had to push through it, all right? And then I just like unracked my weights. I always look so stupid, but like you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? This is the worst part of it. It's like a whole workout in itself, but none of my trainer boy friends were there to help me today. <laughs> and then um, this is me actually sweating and dying and heavily breathing, but uh, it's the process for this fatty, oh my god. And then I go in with some Smith Machine lunges. Um, and these are just like a really easy workout just to get the fatty. And I feel like it's really easy to control. So if you're like a beginner, it's really nice. Then I go into some RDLs. Oh, that form. I don't know if it's good or not, to be honest, but this just really works the hamstrings and the booty, but it honestly breaks my back if I don't do it correctly. So I was really focused on keeping my chest up and my back and core engaged. But you can see here, I was also just dead after this. Then we go in some, um, this is the ugliest workout ever. It is like some rounded back extensions, but keep your back rounded and keep your booty clenched. And oh, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel the motherfucking burn. And then, yeah, this is some cute. Oh my God, she's so cute. All right, I just got back from the gym. My hair is literally wet. And I'm like, okay, I need to wash my hair because this isn't gel. My hair is wet from sweating so much. But it was such a good gym sesh. I'm glad that I went back. I feel good about myself. All right, I need to take passport pictures and I also need to go grocery shopping, but well, not passport, visa pictures, but it's like basically passport pictures. Um, but I need to actually do my visa pictures because that's like actually due tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna eat leftovers. 
just some broccoli with carrots and then we have oh shit we have some deep fried tofu i'm just gonna throw this all together throw this in the microwave for a little bit and then the tofu has a lot of protein in it but i'm really excited to get ready because i'm gonna like do a full glam oh my god this is so freaking good i also just made this protein protein smoothie with cherries and strawberries and apple juice and protein is what's making my booty grow that. It's like this powder. I'm gonna put you on. Go search it up. It works. Okay, so I just cleansed my face because like, there's so much freaking oil on it from uh, working out. But I'm gonna go in with this serum by Soul Wasu. I don't even know. And then this gua sha from Satchu Beauty. And just gua sha my face so that it's snatched. Trying to make a TikTok and film this at the same time is kind of hard. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I just like this one. I don't know why. I just think it's so like aesthetic and it smells nice. I honestly think the most important part of makeup is making sure that you're moisturized underneath because if you don't, then everything looks like gross. And then for even more glow, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. But I also feel like this isn't like super glowy. I don't know how to explain it. It's a really good in-between of like matte and glowy, I think. If I could describe it, it'd be satin. If you know what that is. All right, I literally have holes in my face. They're actually moon craters, but I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer, warm that up between my fingers and only use a little bit and then put it on. If you don't warm it up, it just doesn't blend in as well. Y'all know those holes that are in your face? Like, do they ever go away? I don't know if you have them, but I definitely do. Like that? Do they go away? Somebody help. I don't know about you, but I have like oil spills on my nose, so I don't put any primer on there because if I do, then nothing sticks on it. Then going in with the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. Usually I use a beauty blender, but today we're going full coverage, so I'm gonna use a brush and blend this all in. This is like my favorite foundation out of anything I've ever used. I think second favorite would be the Dior Backstage, but that's expensive and it's kind of mattifying. And then the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, I would say is third, but I haven't found like any better foundation than this one. It is so, 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 so good. And if you're like going for a natural, it works really well, but if you want to build it, it also works really well. And their shade range is so good. And their freaking price range is so good. Everything about it is so good. Ah, I forgot. I do my eyebrows first. Oh my God. Yo, I do my eyebrows first because the thing is if I wait till last then I can't lather my brows in brow glue and it just doesn't look good. So start with your eyebrows first. My bad. As you see here, I am lathering my brows in brow glue just so and after I do this, I let them tack up because, because if I just like try to brush them right away, they don't stay, if that makes sense. Like if you like let the brow glue dry a little bit, they stay so much better. There's like a mound of eyebrow glue on my face right now. That's what you gotta do to get the snatched brows. I'm gonna let those dry and then go in with another layer of foundation. We are caking today. I haven't done like a full beat face in so long. Like usually I kind of just go for like a natural look, but like natural to me isn't natural to everybody. I'm gonna go high coverage because these picks need to turn all good. In pictures, nobody can tell when your face is caked, but in person, most definitely. But like going anywhere in person today, no. I look caked up right now. All right, to highlight my face, I usually go in with like a concealer to cover my blemishes, but that foundation caking covered up everything, so we don't need to do that. But I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 22. I, this is like the only concealer that I've been using really lately. Usually I go light with this, but we're gonna go a little bit heavy today. I'm just gonna go in with that same foundation brush just to blend it in. I feel like when I use brushes, it just has the most coverage. So. And then with like the excess foundation on the brush, I think it'll blend better. Just cause I'm putting a lot on, so there's like no use for a small brush, you know? If I wasn't doing YouTube, there'd be so many things that I would be like pursuing. Makeup as one, like a makeup artist, a photographer as another, a videographer. But I'm glad that I'm doing YouTube though because it allows me to do like everything, you know? And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose right here just so that when I contour my nose, it looks really nice. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for me is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury whatever one. It's just so much cheaper. And I'm just taking it in on a brush just because I feel like it blends so much better. Ooh, y'all, this looks so freaking good. I feel like a real makeup artist right now. Like, you know how like makeup artists always have like the most dewy faces? when they do it and it just looks so good. That's how I feel right now. Just like Mario said, always blend up. Does this not look natural? Like this looks so good. Bitch swear. Since it's a passport photo, I'm gonna bring the contour out a little more than I usually do so you can see. I forgot her name, but she's like really popular on TikTok. She said that Mario said to only put your contour down the middle of your neck because it creates this like illusion. But I think it really does work. Like look how snatched I look right now. A black beauty blender is my holy grail. I don't like any of the other colors for some reason. I mean, I do, but nothing compares to the this one i don't know the blue one sucks i had this blue one once and it was so bad this one always comes in clutch i'm just gonna go in with a wet beauty blender that i sprayed with the charlotte tilbury setting spray and just lightly tap everywhere just to make sure that everything is blended in no because like i feel like a professional makeup artist right now they always kill the base makeup you know what i mean like it always looks like this 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just gassing myself up a little bit so much. All right, for under the eyes, I'm using the Huda Beauty in Pound Cake. I've talked about this so many times before, but if you want no creases whatsoever, use this powder. Oh my God. This is my like all time favorite powder. Y'all see I upgraded. I don't have my powder in a bag anymore. I just bought a new one. Oh, we balling. But I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and just really highlight the parts that I want to look snatched on camera. So I'm gonna put it like right under my eye here because I feel like when you do this, your face looks like, you know, but I'm not gonna bring it out too much because my face is really wide. Oh, I need to pee before I like piss off my pants. The camera doesn't pick up this cream contour, okay? So we gotta go in with even more contour, but in powder form. So this brush, the Avani Greg Vacation Bronzer, y'all already know, I talk about this way too much. I'm gonna really hollow out right here. And right here. Period. Oh my god, I look insane. But do I not look like snatched? No one's gonna be looking at me from the side, only from the front. Oh, we gotta trick the cameras, guys. If you put contour right here, it gives the illusion of like really high cheekbones. No, but for real, like, do you see how like scary I look right now? Don't worry, don't worry, we'll fix it, okay? I need a drink from a smoothie. What do y'all do like after school or work? And like, what time do you guys get off? Work? I'm genuinely like curious what your night routines are. Because like. I'm like, pfft. Once it's 5 p.m. for me, all of a sudden I'm gonna go to sleep. I have function in the sun now. So like, what do you guys do? Let me know what your nighttime routine is like, cause I'm actually so curious. I asked you guys in the last video, yesterday's video, what um, YouTubers you watch for Vlogmas and like when you watch it and how many people you watch and stuff. And a lot of you guys answered. So thank you to everyone that commented because it seems like it's like mostly the same group of people that y'all are watching. But I don't even know how many girls are doing Vlogmas this year. But it was really interesting to see who y'all watched and what time y'all watched. You know. So now tell me what you do for your nighttime routine because I asked. I actually feel like I'm talking to y'all when you guys like comment. And yes, I do read them. I wouldn't just ask you to comment to comment. Like, what the fuck? I have a tutorial of this on my TikTok. It's like dedicated to this, and I feel like I could explain it a lot better in there. If y'all want to go check that out, I'll link it down below. Nose contour is literally an art. It's like a drawing. You must be precise. Okay, for blush now, I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush. This is the Mauve, Mojave, Mojave, Mo Mojave, Mauve, Mojave, Mauve. Mojave, Mauve. Mojave, Mojave. I don't even know how to say it by Cover FX, but I'm gonna cake this on because you can't see it in pictures. And I know people usually say to just put it up here if you want like a snatch face, but girl, do I look like Miss Bella Hadid? Like that is not my face shape. So I just put it all everywhere, like on the cheeks like this, just cause I feel like it looks, makes me like look a little, a little bit youthful and sunburnt, sunburnt, sunburnt and like I am youthful, like I'm 19. Why am I trying to look like a whole ass adult? You know what I mean? From ages like 14 to 17, I like did my makeup so adulty and like sexy. And now I'm like, oh, let me take that back. Okay, so Ariana Grande sent me her freaking makeup even though I ordered it, so I have a lot. So we're gonna finally try it. I'm gonna try her eyeliner, so aesthetic. Packaging, very simple. This is just midnight black. Okay, it looks good. We're gonna try it. I'm currently just watching yeah. Lori DIYs vlogmas, Ms. Lori DIY, Ms. Little Canadian as well. But all right, I've never walked you guys through my actual eyeliner routine, so let me show you. If you can see, I'm starting from the absolute bottom of my eye and drawing a small line. So far, this is really good. Like it's super pigmented. And then after that, I'm kind of filling it in just a little bit and connecting it to the top of my eye, but I keep my eye open. The tip isn't like too long, so it makes it super easy to um, control. I used to pull my eye and close it when I used to do my eyeliner, but I feel like when you do that, you don't know what your actual eye shape looks like. So when you open your eye, the eyeliner just doesn't look the same. So I have really focused on being super precise and just doing it with my eye open. And I think it also helps not bringing my eyeliner throughout my whole eye now and just keeping it on the front. So I just did my eyeliner. I wanted it to look super natural, like it was actually just coming out of my eye. So I started the eyeliner pretty close to the bottom. I used to start my eyeliner like at the top to try to get that cat eye effect, but it just didn't compliment me whatsoever. So I started doing it like this. And you see how it actually just comes out of like the bottom of my eye and I don't go over top of the crease or anything like that. Oh my God, I love this eyeliner. It looks really good. I'm gonna try her lashes. I usually only stick to my Ardell natural ones, but I feel like for this picture, I want pretty like bold lashes. So we're gonna try this eternally meowing one and they're like cat eye. Can you see? how lifted my eyes look. Oh my God. I'm curling the lash before I put it on though. And I cut them a little bit. Oh, this is so unprofessional. <laughs> Since when was I professional? Since, uh, since when was I? Since when was I professional though? But I really like how they look. Tip is like, so after you curl your lash, it's really curled. I never put lashes on without curling them. And then if I want an even more lifted look, I don't put glue on the bottom. I put it on more of the top. 
so that when you put your lash on it more wants to stick up like this instead of down you know and then you gotta let it tack up a little bit put a little bit more glue on the ends here more than down here but i'm gonna wait for this to tack up then put a mirror under my eye so basically i'm gonna take the lash in the middle of my tweezers place it on the middle first then take the edge and pull it to wherever i need and the reason why i put the mirror under is because i feel like you can really get super close to your lash line and then i do the inner corner and i like to hold the inner corner with my tweezers because if i don't i feel like it um lifts really easily so yeah then i go back in with my tweezers and kind of press i hate when there's a gap between lashes i feel like it makes my eyes look so like round and it kind of just defeats the purpose of lashes like this you know wow these are so pretty okay so i just went in with a bunch of banana powder to sculpt my face because the camera's not gonna pick up my highlight like shiny highlight if i do that so i'm just using banana powder to really just sculpt it because like you'll see i'm gonna wipe this off in a sec i just spent i don't even know how long making sure my face was even because i realized how lopsided my eyebrows were but i think i fixed it a little bit better i think i'm happy with it now i just need to put a shirt on lip gloss and then fix my hair Oh my god, these are gonna turn out so good and I know that they are. Fuck, it took me long enough though. It literally took me like an hour and a half to do my makeup. I think I just want to do this basically, but have my hair a little bit more covering my forehead so that it doesn't look so big, I guess. She's a makeup artist, a whatever. Right? Okay, bobby pin, bobby pin. I feel like I'm like getting ready for the Met Gala right now with like the amount of precision that I'm putting into this. I've never done this to my hair before. I just saw like just that do passport pictures do this and I was like, okay, my turn. I think we're good to go. What do you think? Actually though, like let me know if you like this makeup look because like I could keep doing it But I just feel like it, I don't look like me, you know, like I feel like it, I don't even look like my ethnicity to be honest um That's what I feel. All right, let's go Just been hyping myself up playing some Justin Bieber Justin Bieber was my number one artist this year. Fun fact, who is yours? Let me know down in the comments. I was like joking and I would like tell people like, haha, like Justin Bieber is definitely gonna be my most played because like I just joke around and like play him, right? I don't play his new music. I play his old music, by the way. Like Confident, Eeny Meeny, Somebody to Love, Never Say Never. That's my shit. Yeah, well, he was my number one artist this year. So also, Sterling was having die of fucking Rhea. And I was like, what does this dude have die of fucking Rhea for? I like go to clean up the kitchen right you know what i find a butter wrapper on the floor this man ate a whole block of butter he's already got some rolls okay he's already chonky i don't know what from like eating the crumbs off the panera floor i don't know he's on a little diet and we're taking him on little runs but it's the fact that he ate a fucking block of butter and he's already fat like i don't get it i don't feed him a lot like i feed him less than half a cup of food a day like that's normal for a little doggo. So I just don't understand. I think he's just eating crumbs or some shit. Right, dear, dear. You're a good boy. It's okay. Makeup is looking beat. We are in the CBS parking lot. Yo, these pics are about to turn out bomb. Like I can just feel it. I'm gonna go in and get the pictures taken and then I will come back. CBS. <laughs> Everyone in my DMs right now was like, my, what, what, what makeup? Like, why do you look so different? Your face is so defined. Like, like you're so hot right now. Like what? It's so funny. Because it's literally because I look like shit in my videos at all times, which is just so funny to me. But I should be a makeup artist or whatever. Oh, I got my pictures. Should I show y'all? What do we think? She's pretty or whatever. I'm feeling myself right now. And I should because I took two hours or whatever to do this look. It better be good. But I'm going to tell you this right now. My makeup does not look this good in person. Like, you see, I got texture... Like, this contour looks muddy because I wanted my face to look slim here. So I really had to heavily contour right there. Like, from afar, I look f***ing amazing, right? But up close, motherfucking caked up. My nose contour is not even blended. So don't look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I don't look like that. Um, period, bitch. I don't look like that either. Like, it was all for the cameras. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. I'm so sorry this video was boring. But I was boring today okay i love you so much i'm reading my dms i know y'all are my dms right now so go dm me if you want i'll try to get back to you but bye all right for the three instagram shout outs of the day goes to josephine's library she said morning routine with at my family and then tia go lifestyle she said you need to subscribe to her love her and then maddie dancing 33 said at my family if you guys want to be instagram shout out of the day literally just post you watching my videos and boom 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 and i reply to most people that post me on their story anyways period 
how to win the three iPhones. I'm picking three winners on December 25th. All you have to do is just be subscribed to this channel that you're watching right now, okay? Because I'm giving back to my subscribers. And then follow my Instagram at myfammy. And the reason why I say that is because I need to be able to contact you. I'm gonna be contacting the winners on December 25th on Instagram. And then just be active on my Instagram and my YouTube. I'm gonna be just choosing a random winner from the YouTube comments and just a random winner from the Instagram comments and stuff like that. So yeah, see you tomorrow. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night.